So now we are going to work scissor over comb. So in order to scissor over comb, the key here is to have your scissor and be able to just move that one blade. To move just this one blade, all you have to do is lock in this with all of your fingers. So you've got your middle finger, your ring finger, and your pinky. To really lock it in, I move it just a little bit over and that wedges this in. So now I, it does not slip around. So really just work on that get all, everything locked in and then shift it over to the side and then that will allow your hand to just move the thumb. Now you'll work on this until you get to the point where you have no issues, however you're holding this. So then you add your comb to it and now to do scissor over comb, you're here and the steady blade goes right across the bone of the comb here. You add it here and now you can work up the head and just move that one blade up and down. So now add in the head and you can start Scoop up the hair and just start working slowly up the head shape and cutting to your desired length. As I'm coming up with my comb like this, I'm working that blade along the scissor. That's cutting horizontally and I need to determine my shape of what I want this haircut to be looking down at the overhead. So if I want to round the head off, then I'm going to start by moving up in this corner and cutting. So we would go like this up and then I would shift my feet my feet would start moving in a circle around the head shape. It's like that, all the way around. If I wanted to have a balanced line that continued straight out and built up weight over here, I would start here, shoulders parallel to the head, and I would work straight up like this, and then straight up. So I just continue working through just like that until I run out of hair. So that gives me a balanced line horizontally. Then I would move to the back and I would do the same thing, creating that balanced line horizontally. So it's up to you guys, whatever shape you want to create in the haircut is just determined by how you're either following the head shape or following a line. I'm gonna go with the round of the head because I don't want a heavy corner in this cut. Another thing that I like to do when I'm cutting scissor over comb is I have a guide that's a little bit of a secret. So when I hold the comb against the head, my finger will go somewhere on their head. So if it can't, if it's gonna hit them in the eye, then obviously I move it, but I'll go kind of behind it and my hand is holding the comb away from the head at the same spot. Because if I just try to hold it like this, I feel like it gets a little shifty in and out. So if I just place a little bit of a guideline along the head, I can get the same length as I go.